hi everyone welcome um, to my channel today we'll be doing a tutorial on my punch board mini album um, I did set out to get this tutorial up last weekend but after eight tries I kind of gave up <laughs> the amount of things that went wrong I even broke my paper trimmer my arm on my paper trimmer so needless to say I think by the eighth time I was over it and I did start filming this for the ninth time and my power ran out <laughs> of the camera so tenth time let's see if we can get it <laughs> all right so what i will show you today is the base page and the flip page on how to make that and your tags that come out of here as well okay anything extra like these little pockets you will have cardstock left over they are so easy to make these pockets okay so it's not a hard thing to do um i thought i'd just give you the base measurements because then that way you can use your own imagination to fill it up with pockets and other things that you choose to okay you'll also need 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock and here in Australia, if you've got it, A4 is perfectly fine because our A4 measures around about 11 and 3 quarters, I think it is, um, by 8 and a half. So um, that'll, be, that'll be fine. You'll need your envelope punch board, and this is the We Are Memory Keepers. You'll need your paper trimmer, which I've had to go to my Fiskars one because I broke my stamping up one. Oh my gosh, I'm in a world of hurt that I've done that. And your um, scoreboard. You also need some glue if you use wet glue and ATG or, you know, score tape. I'm just going to use my ATG for the sake of this video. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is cut your base page at 11 and 3 quarters by 6 and a quarter. So because I'm khaki handed, it's going to look funny because my, um, <coughs> excuse me, my paper trim is going to be upside down. So I'll just move my scoreboard and my punch board to the side here. Okay. So I did say 11 and 3 quarters by 6 and a quarter. So I will cut this out because this will be my base page. And I'm doing it in a lighter colour so it's easier for you guys to see. Now with my punch board, I am using a lightweight cardstock. It's not very heavy because it needs to punch through double layers. You don't want anything too heavy because it will initially or essentially ruin your punch board. And we don't want that. Okay, so... So, 11 and 3 quarters, get that right, and even these are driving me nuts because nothing's, okay, oh. looks like I might need a new blade in this one, and turn it around, and then we go to 6 and a quarter. Alright, now keep this piece because you will need it. And then what you're going to do is score it on half an inch. And I'll just move this over and get my scoreboard. So I just score it at half an inch. And then what I do is fold it over and give it a good burnish. I can't find my bone folder. And then just fold it in half. Okay, now you can alter the measurements to make it bigger. Um, I think mine just is, it turned out smaller. This is what I started off with. So I just basically went with these measurements. Okay, or if you, if you like, you can find the center on the scoreboard. So after I folded it down. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. It's roughly around six and a quarter, but I would probably, because bear in mind as well that even though, unless you're using the same tools that I am, like the scoreboard and paper trimmer, the measurements are slightly off because you're going to find that, um, like if you use a different brand of paper trimmer to what I do, you will find that the measurement is just, you know, a fraction off. But it does make a difference to that fraction. Okay, so we've got that done now. Then um, what we're going to do is get our envelope punch board. 
okay now you're gonna leave it like this so that it's opened up fold it and you are gonna punch along this score line the middle score line that we've got here so sorry if this video is on an angle I just can't get my camera to sit right um, the right way at the moment so I have to work on that guys I'm so sorry all right so what we're gonna do is we are going to punch out the end like here so you can see it gives a bit of an edge here then we're going to go up to one and three quarters oh, and just slide it in there and give it a punch now I'm not on a stable surface this is just a picnic table that I'm on because I've got um, a big mess on my um, craft table because I am doing another project for um, for class uh, for what is it for scrappy hollow class so um, I didn't want to clear off all the stuff there since I'm working with it okay then you flip it around and you punch the corner again and then once again you can do it at that um, one and three quarter mark okay and then punch it down then what you're going to do is you'll get your paper trimmer and you cut from this valley to that valley there so straight across there you will cut okay so we'll do that now and keep a pair of uh, pa uh, paper scissors handy as well because there might be some edges if you're not used to doing this um, you will leave some edges there and um, you need to get rid of them okay just to make sure I get this right Now I would suggest that you try this out on a piece of scrap paper like computer paper or printer paper I should say and um, before you do anything um, with your cardstock just so that you feel comfortable in doing this. Okay so we have got our page cut out. The next thing we are going to do we're going to make our flip which is this piece here and I'll just show that to you there that will be this page here. Okay. So we will cut the flip out and I'll just move my punch board and move everything out the way as well so I've got plenty of room. So you're going to cut your flip out at six by five and a half. Okay. So five and a half and because you've used your 12 by 12 sheet of paper you'll have enough left over for this. So five and a half by six inches. All right beautiful and keep this you can use it as a photo mat as well when I do my albums I try and make sure that we've got plenty um, of leftovers that you can use and incorporate within your album or that we do use the leftovers that you have from cutting out in your album so we will just move that to one side okay then I will get my school board and I will score uh, one um half an inch sorry guys um i'll score it at one inch okay and this will be on um which side am i going it'll be on your five and a half inch side okay and we're going to score it at one inch Now this is where your paper trimmer can come into effect or if you prefer you can use a ruler and just to mark it okay. So what you're going to do when you're doing it here you're going to move it up to um, one and a half okay so that you get a wedge out. So you're going to cut out up to one and a half here and up to one and a half on this side too so on both sides okay so when I've cut it out I will show you what happens or actually I could probably cut it out with my scissors so I've just done a slight mark there use a pencil mark guys if you want to okay and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna sorry I'm a bit off camera here oh and cut it out and you can use your, your paper trimmer for this too guys okay there and cut it up to 
that line there. So you should be left with a wedge like this, okay, and that will be cut out. Alright, then what you're going to want to do is bend on the score line. Okay, now what you can do is on my pages I've cut the corners on the one that's going on the outside. So you'll be flipping it there, so you will want to cut these corners. Okay, um, so all I've done was use my envelope punch board for this. Okay, and then flipped it around. And sorry, guys, I think I just knocked the camera too. I'll move that a bit away there. Okay, and we'll punch that out. All right, so that it gives it a um, an edge like this. Okay. So what I'll do next is clean that up. And what you're going to need is some adhesive, and please use strong adhesive for this, guys, all right? So this will essentially slide in to your album to make that flip. Now, what you're going to do is don't put tape on the score line like I have. I'm just rolling it back now um, so that it's not on there. And you will open this up like this and feed it through, okay? And what you want is these corners to be sitting on top. So it goes like that, that'll be sitting on top there before you actually tape it down because then it gives you a chance to be able to position it in the centre so that you have, you know, five-eighths of an inch or a third of an inch on either side, okay? So when you do flip it over, it sits like that. All right. And you can punch out these corners if you like to as well. As you can see here, I haven't cut straight, but that's fine. Just make sure you get it straight. And that's your um, base here. Now, what you can do, this, this format here, I've created it so that you can use it in a um, hidden hinge or stack the deck binding. Or you can just use it if you are going to um, use the OYs like I did with the cinch. Okay. Right. If you're using it with the cinch, I would suggest cover it with paper if you're going to do it that way. And then um, stick this down and then punch out the punch out the holes. If you're going to do... Oh, sorry. If you're going to do the hidden hinge, obviously you're going to need to glue this down or tape this down to your hinges. And then you'll have that extra space there for your um, matting and, and what have you. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down, this side down. So this bit here, the fold that comes becomes the, we'll just say a hinge because it is essentially in here. Okay, so I'm just going to run tape on the inside, on the outside of it, sorry guys just along the edge here and also I'm going to end up with wet glue on this side so what you're going to do is want to determine which way you're going to have your flip facing and which way you're going to have you know you've got it one way so whether you have that on the right hand side and you tape it down or it's flipped over and you have it the opposite way as well Okay, but you need to make sure that you've got this flip on the opposite side. Okay, so where I taped my flip to is on the inside of this piece here. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue down the bottom of it because that will cre create my pocket. If I can talk proper English, I might actually get the words out. And then all I'm going to do is just adhere it down and just make sure you've got it level before all that happens. Okay. I don't remember which side I put my glue on. All right. So that will be my flip page and there's my pocket up the top and I've created another pocket in the middle there. So let's get on with the actual tags of this album. And I've measured mine at five and a half by three and three quarters. Now I'm going to do it in another colour just so that you guys can see the different um, 
the different setups. So, if I can find my paper trimmer, which I think I've lost. Oh, it's right next to me. Okay, so we're just going to set that page aside. And I'm going to cut my paper at, what did I say, five and a half and three and three quarters. Now you might need to trim it down, but that's okay. Um, so five and a half. And bear in mind, you can use your leftover piece to go in your album as well. And three and three quarters. Okay, so we'll put that aside. Then you'll get your photo mat and you four and three quarters by six and a quarter. So you can use the same piece that you've just cut out. And we'll do that at four and three quarters. And cut that down. That's fine. Okay. And what I've simply done in my album is use my envelope punch board to do the corners of it. And you, you really don't need to. You can use the corner rounder. Uh, you can put a decorative corner on there. Okay, just to soften it up a bit. And then I'll do the same on the little um, tag as well. Okay. Now this album I did create for photos and journaling. Um... I didn't want to put heavily embellished album on the inside. Um, I wanted people to be able to pick it up and actually use it um, and like create an album album for its functionality, not just for show. You can still have it prettied up on the front and jazzed up. So when people look through it or when your family looks through it, you've got plenty of room for photos, plenty of room for those sentimental um moments where you've written down of what happened on a particular day and everything so it, even though i mean it's got bits and pieces in here it's not overly done all right so what we'll do you've taped down the bottom of it or you've glued down and mine hasn't stuck all the way down but that's fine you will stick your photo mat in there and you'll find that it slides right in between those two punch uh, lines there and it'll go in oh, through here as well so there are my photo mats now bear in mind when I did do the size of this photo mat I, and in the tag I basically done it because I had done it for the cinch binding okay if you are doing the stack the deck binding you might need to make it a bit wider here for your photo mat or for your um a journaling tag at the side as well you can make it longer so that is the basic construct of this album and it's turned out really nicely i was so pleased that you know you can just be sitting there and this idea just came into my head on how to make this album so like i said very basic, very simple, but yet effective. All right, nothing over the top with it like I normally do with all my flips and everything, but you still do have plenty of room. Like these bits here that you get, um, you know, leftovers. Like I said, use them as tags. You can, you know, use your leftovers to create a pocket and, um, you know, or a belly band. So plenty of things to be able to do there with your leftovers. Um, you know, mat a picture, you know, from your collection or whatever, um, put a bit of, uh, what do you call it, um, dimensional dots on the side there and that creates another pocket there. You can have a photo here and some journaling to go with the photo as well and it'll stay in that place. Okay, guys, thank you once again for watching. I really appreciate all your support. I hope everybody's having a lovely weekend or has had a lovely weekend. We have um, we are in Monday here at the moment in Australia, so stay tuned for more videos. Um, I, like I said, I am working on an album for class, but in between that time, I have got another album, which would be the Punchboard Mini number two, um, which I have come up with as well okay thanks guys for watching take care bye